Hello, everyone. This is Miranda. The U.S. Fed has lowered its benchmark rate by 50 bips to 4.75 to 5 percent at the September meeting. This may be signaling the era of easing has begun. How does the MetLife Global Multi-Asset Diversified Income Fund position itself to respond to market conditions and help investors seek opportunities? With a globally diversified, unconstrained portfolio of 800 names, we believe the fund is well prepared to manage global market rate cycles and maintain a high income payout level. On the equity side, the holdings are globally diversified with a blended style across value and growth, and no one style bias dominating returns. Riding on the market volatility in August, the fund reduced its underweight to the tech sector and selectively added some consumer discretionary and healthcare names. Overall, the equity sleeve maintained sector diversification with overweight exposure towards consumer discretionary and healthcare, well positioned to capture a broader market return beyond just tech, com services, and mitigate the sector-driven volatility. In addition, the team has also added more diversified international ex-U.S. names in July to manage a heavy U.S. exposure and lower the valuation profile of the equities in the portfolio. On the fixed income side, the sleeve is credit-focused, naturally lower duration given high yield exposure, less duration sensitive whilst more credit sensitive towards the prospect. Of recession or default risk, which have been moderating. This year, the team has added exposure to investment grade space, including preferreds, as well as selective BB rated credit names, to increase the defensiveness and lock in the yield before the Fed pivot. The team has been underweight CCC rated credit within high yield, which has helped manage recent market volatility. We believe the portfolio will benefit from falling rates, as high yield and preferred securities tend to thrive in falling rate environments. In addition, the team do not anticipate broad spread opportunities in the U.S., but sees spread opportunities across emerging markets and Asia credits. A soft landing scenario may support EM and Asia credits to outperform, particularly Asia credit, due to attractive valuations and strong fundamentals. To conclude, the team is prepared for rates to fall while being defensively positioned for an increase in market volatility. For options, persistent option writing implementation shows its strength during uncertain market conditions. Writing index level calls and put options to enhance yield generation to offset against drawdowns in other parts of the portfolio. If rate cuts are as expected, without being proximate to a market scare, we believe option implied volatilities will remain low and correlation low. If data forces the U.S. Fed to cut more aggressively, we expect premiums to rise somewhat.